टुडे इज थर्ड वीडियो फॉर यू फर्स्टली रिलीजियस अटेंशन इन इथियोपिया आर स्प्रेडिंग फर्स्टली वी रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम गोंदर देन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी रिपोर्टेड अबाउट डिबार्क नाउ वी हैव अ न्यू स्टोरी फ्रॉम सदर्न नेशन नेशनैलिटीज एंड पीपल्स रीजन अ चर्च हैज बीन सेट ऑन फायर मेहरटिया एस एफ आ अ वेरी फायरी स्पीकर अ फायरी प्रीचर ऑफ इथियोपियन ऑर्थोडॉक्स चर्च इज मेकिंग सम क्लेम्स अबाउट द चर्च विच वॉज सेट ऑन फायर इन एस एन एन पी आर सेकेंड लिवियोर्स इथियोपियन फेडरल गवर्नमेंट टूडे denied uh, rather it rejected the claims made by tigray government tigray government a tigray spokesperson gata choreda uh, just uh, i think 3 days ago confirmed that uh, tigray's forces had left a far region that there was almost no presence of uh, tigray defense force in afar but uh, lagase tolu ethiopian communication minister just an hour ago spoke he is rejecting the statement of uh, tigray government he says tigray government is lying does he mean that uh, uh, tigray fighters are still in afar he made some other claims too and lastly tulsi bhai is relentless Dr Tedros Adhanom who was named Tulsi by by Indian uh, prime minister once again a few hours ago he criticized Eritrea what did he say firstly religious tensions are spreading across uh, Ethiopia it started from Gondar where uh, more than 20 muslims were killed Uh, where she places houses were set on fire and looted and muslim organization say that women were raped too so muslim uh, christian tensions then spread to other places too in the last video i reported about uh, some incidents which happened in debark where government says amhara regional government the government forces are in control of the situation but Uh, reportedly some mosques have been set on fire in debark too both debark and gondar city are in north gondar now a new story from snnpr southern nations nationalities and peoples region uh, in this region muslims protested uh, in silte zone uh muslims protested uh, to show solidarity with the victims of uh, gondar incident we have seen uh, protests across ethiopia in addis ababa in different parts of oromia and amhara region as well muslims have been protesting since yesterday after the news about gondar incident uh, came out so in silte muslims protested there and uh, a church was set on fire muslims protested in a tora viewers and the church was set on fire in uh, a place which is called warabe meritiab sfa is a very fiery preacher of ethiopian orthodox church he is claiming that uh, extremist a set on fire saint raphael church of warabe uh, now we don't know how this church was set on fire we are hearing different stories conflicting accounts of the incident muslims of the area they say that they were protesting uh, and uh, their protest rally was stopped by some orthodox christians uh, then there was exchange of hot words uh, stones were thrown from the church at the rally and then this confrontation started they denying setting the church on fire but christian community says that muslims they uh, set the church on fire so tensions there viewers religious tensions are spreading government forces should control the situation 
I think religious leaders should also play their role. Uh, if the situation goes on, it will lead to further uh, uh, devastation for all religions. That is why religious elders should sit, government should sit with them and uh, there must be restraint and calm uh, shown by the elders, by the influencers. Otherwise, this fire of religious uh, violence will consume all the groups, all the religions. Uh, Warabe University is also seeing same tensions reportedly between Muslim and Orthodox Christian students. Uh, some incidents uh, have been reported and situation is uh, a bit tense at the university as well. University authorities uh, and uh, local security officials must also keep the university under surveillance. We have received some reports about uh, some confrontation between Muslim and non-Muslim students at Warabe University of SNNPR. Uh, second story is about uh, a press conference uh, from Ethiopian communication minister. His name is Lagas Tolo. He today rejected some statements of Tigray government. Tigray government, Tigray official spokesperson Gata Choreda said, I think, uh, uh, three days ago that uh, Tigray forces were out of Afar, that no Tigray forces were in Afar. But Lages Tolu is rejecting this claim. What is he saying? He says, the international media, international community is uh, sharing the statement. Uh, they are appreciating Tigray that their forces are withdrawn from Afar. But practically on the ground tigray forces have not withdrawn from the afar region five waridas and one town of afar are still under the control of tigray forces first claim made by lagasa tolo which we analyze uh, we'll analyze it in detail and secondly he says that uh, in recent days uh, dozens of a trucks have been sent to tigray and these a trucks are not returning. Empty a trucks are not returning. 40 a trucks have not returned so far. And the trucks are being used by Tigray government for transportation of its military equipment and its soldiers. Now, we know that uh, Tigray forces were in control of five or uh, Abala, Magale, Rabati, Kanaba, Birhale. We have seen pictures of Afar fighters. It has been visually confirmed that firstly, Magale is under Afar. Secondly, uh, Rabati under Afar. Thirdly, Kanaba under Afar. And Brihale as well. From four Varedas, from four Vareda centers, we have received pictures of Afar fighters that they have retaken the four places. I don't know why Ethiopian government is saying that uh, Tigray is still in control of five Varadas of uh, Afar and one town. Yes, TDF could be in some Kabales, some small villages. But Lagasse Tulo said TDF was in control of five Varadas. He's not naming any Varadas. Varada centers uh, have been retaken by Afar forces after Tigray forces withdrew. Uh, we have visual confirmation. The pictures of Afar militia members, Afar fighters, they were shared by Afar news sources. How can Ethiopian government deny that? So Ethiopian government says that Tigray is lying. Tigray forces are not withdrawing. International community, international media should uh, pressurize Tigray to withdraw its forces from the areas which are under its control. I personally think that TDF has withdrawn from afar, from major towns. TDF is out of afar. Yes, there could be some uh, Kabbalahs, uh, some small villages in border areas. TDF is not in Birhale. It's not in Kanaba. It's not in Magale. It's not in uh, Arabati. It has been visually confirmed. Some small villages could be under TDF control. So I don't know why Ethiopian government uh, is... Uh, 
making this claim. Ethiopian government says Tigray is lying, but uh, far government uh, confirmed that uh, their fighters, their forces took control of uh, Rabati, uh, Magale and uh, Kandaba. Uh, as regards second claim that 48 trucks have not returned, yes, uh, uh, yes, it could be uh, true uh, that uh, eight trucks are not returning from Tigray. Tigray should clarify. In coming hours, I think a statement is expected from Tigray government about these two accusations of Lagasse Tolo that TDF is not withdrawing from afar and that 40 trucks have not returned from Tigray. We'll update you after the statement of uh, Tigray government. Lastly, we'll still see Bhai is relentless. Dr. Tedros uh, once again criticized Eretia. A few hours ago, he shared an article uh, published by the New Humanitarian, a new source uh, which uh, publishes new stories about humanitarian situation across the world. Uh, he has shared a sentence from the article written uh, for the New Humanitarian. The sentence uh, is, War and aid blockade and deliberate uh, looting by Eritrean soldiers has left Tigray's health system on support. So he says that Eritrean soldiers have destroyed Tigray's health care system. Destruction happened more than a year ago. In June, Eritrean soldiers, uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force members withdrew from most parts of Tigray. But since Tigray has been under a blockade, aid has not been allowed to enter Tigray freely. That is why Tigray's health care system is still devastated, according to Dr. Ted Ross. Interestingly, viewers, uh, health care systems in Afar and Amhara, which were uh, uh, affected by the war, they have restarted their work and uh, around 80 to 90 percent of hospitals in Amhara and Afar uh, uh, they have restarted uh, providing uh, health care facilities to the patients. But in Tigray, situation is not improving. According to Dr. Ted Ross and Tigray, uh, government-backed uh, health bureau uh, officials. Yesterday, some uh, allegations were leveled by a doctor who fled Tigray. He claimed that uh, some TPLF officials were involved in stealing medical aid being provided to Tigray by aid agencies. Tigray government is expected to issue a statement in this regard. We'll update you about Tigray government's position as well in coming hours. Thank you for watching.